In what could be interpreted as the unofficial start to the 2014 election campaign, President Jacob Zuma descended on El Dorado Park on Tuesday, flanked by several government ministers and Gauteng Premier Numvola Makonyani. The president was responding to an impassioned plea by a group of mothers from the Johannesburg South Township for Zuma to intervene in the ongoing scourge of drugs in the area. You can restore hope and give us support that we so desperately require to our addicted and runaway kids. We, re we are relying on you to ensure that law enforcement officers and special courts do not dare face the other way every time they have to act against these drug lords and murderous thugs. They claim narcotics have destroyed their families, their homes and the community as a whole. I started drugs at the age of 13 and I used to prostitute myself for a fix and it messed me because everybody knew, sorry to say it, how my vagina looks what type of a girl I am and everything, and it broke me into pieces. All I want to say is that drugs is not for you to get the job. Drugs is just to take you to yell in bed. The president addressed a crowd of approximately 500 community members after a closed session with the group that penned him the letter. When I read their letter, I was shocked. The kind and the degree of the problem, the descriptions they were making, unheard of. He quickly won over the crowd, promising to personally make sure government takes action on the matter. Among some of his undertakings were to strengthen laws dealing with drug-related offences, along with building a factory in the vicinity of El Dorado Park to deal with rampant unemployment in the area. We are going to act. We are not going to promise and not act. We are going to act. I'm going to make it a point that I drive this program myself. With the next general election a little over a year away, it's difficult to discern if Zuma's visit was the actions of a president keen on solving the problems of his people or a politician hoping for re-election come 2014. Although government's visit is encouraging to many residents, the proof will be in the action that takes place on the ground in El Dorado Park.